I'm here with Alex from Seabase Open Moon. Alex, we just finished up your first team summit. Uh, what did you think of the event? Uh, it was great, very exciting, a lot of new ideas and, and all the teams with their presentations, very inspiring. I was astonished to see that we are all on the same track and this is very good. Google Luna X Prize at the moment is not only the most fascinating competition, it's a very necessary competition. We need that competition. It's finally time to open space for private business. It's not about greed. It's not about making money. It's about culture. It's about, it's about uh, solving problems. Uh, it's about the necessity to open space to humanity and the necessity to open space to small and medium enterprises to everybody. Can you give us a quick update on the major activities of your team over the past few months since the last team summit? Yeah, we had a lot of organizing uh, things to do, a lot of um, taking ideas and, and um, talking with our sponsors and um, our rovers concept was uh, re-engineered, optimized. We uh, gone to plan a high altitude ballooning and we want to uh, also launch a um, tube satellite. You can't just make science by wanting to make science you have to go a bit further and um, there is one lesson we have to learn out of Apollo and the Apollo mission. It's not enough to achieve something. We saw that it's possible to land on the moon. We know that it's possible to land on the moon for 40 or 50 years, but we didn't find a way to stay on the moon. For me, Moon 2.0 means clearly uh, this is the second attempt to go to the moon, but this time it shall last. This time it's not the Apollo effect. Landing, getting your fame and then public is losing interest, which would be a great failure. In my eyes, it's not worst case if nobody lands on the moon. In my eyes, worst case would be if everybody lands on the moon and nothing happens. So you just mentioned a bunch of the cool projects that you're working on. Which of those do you think uh, fans will be able to follow along with just in the next few months? Well, we've got um, all our social media, um, Twitter, YouTube, Picasa, and an Open Moon Info. We've got our own blog where you can uh, follow us. Um, it's uh, in German and in English. The special point in our team is, or the point which distinguishes us from most of the other teams, is um, that we want that open source stuff, which work wonderful with Linux, which would work wonderful with Wikipedia, but which wouldn't work one-to-one -one with hardware building, of course. And that's why it's as well not only a technological task for us, it's as well a task of finding new methods of cooperation. My personal motivation is, of course, First of all, I'm fascinated by it. And my second motivation is that I believe that it's possible to make business in space. At the moment, business in space is kind of big companies, space agencies. It's not a real business in terms of like computer business on Earth or something. But I believe that it's possible to build business in space, but we have to show the people where the money is, if I may put it that way. We have to show the people that there are concepts which work, which makes it feasible and makes it reasonable to go into space. So the fans you've already got and the people who become fans by going to those links you just mentioned, uh, if they want to help out the team, is there anything that they can do? Yes, of course, of course. Um, they can do whatever they want. We don't uh, need not just um, um, experts or, or, or space engineers. We, we need people who say this is a good idea and, and to understand that, that we are shaping the future and that they can give their part. And, and even if they are artists, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyone and everyone brings us one step nearer to the moon. That's a fantastic sentiment. I think we'll end right on that. So thanks so much for coming. I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.